Hi, I'm Ryan Geelan. I produce and directed Drinking Games, and we get a lot of questions about the cinematography of Drinking Games. So I just wanted to cut together a few videos that showed off some of my favorite camera moves from the film and kind of discuss the motivation behind them. I hope this is helpful. I never tried Coke before. Is it serious? No, it's not too rough. You tried it? I've heard that it's not too rough. McKay, what's cocaine like? Oh, dude, awesome. All right, let's just let's just be quick though, because all right, well, give me a credit card. I, I have a debit card. Come on, bro. What? I'm not charging you for the cocaine, dumbass. I need to cut it. This shot is technically pretty difficult to pull off because of the number of characters in a small space and the complicated movement of the camera. It involves both a uh, slow and steady dolly roll, but also really quick whip pans from one character to another. Making sure to hit the correct landing spots for each whip pan was a real challenge for Chris and Tank. Uh, but Chris also had to land on each character already in focus. You can't, you can't have a whip pan and then a whip pan where you're kind of landing and then finding the focus one of the added benefits of the sort of quick movement in the first half of the shot where we're kind of whipping from character to character is that when we actually stop and hold on Sean, the change in tempo is really jarring. It helps highlight the comedic beat. I, I have a debit card. Come on, bro. What? I'm not charging you for the cocaine, dumbass. I need to cut it. The scene itself is relatively simple. It's a few kids standing around trying to decide whether they're gonna do coke. For each participant in the scene though, it's a huge, huge decision. The camera movement needs to sort of force the dramatic narrative of the decision. So instead of just sort of standing back and filming four kids talking about whether to do coke, in their lives, in their minds, the, the, the day is starting to move instead of like this, in their minds, things are starting to pick up the pace and at this rhythm. So we wanted the camera movement to reflect that, that sort of faster tempo. Another thing you'll notice is worked into those sort of crazy whip pans from character to character is a slow plodding dolly movement forward toward the action. The film is about the inevitability of making huge mistakes. It's about how the world keeps spinning and life keeps going and you can't get in the way of it. You can only try to make the right decisions to move throughout it. So the inevitability of conflict, the inevitability of problems, the inevitability of this night spiraling out of control, we hope to represent by this sort of plodding dolly movement forward in many of the scenes where all the characters can do is try to react and make the best decisions. They can't actually like stop the, the camera, stop the progress of the story. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. I'm, I'm certainly proud of the shot. The performances are great. Uh, I hope it gives you something to think about when focusing on the production design and the camera movement in your next, uh, your next piece. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below or shoot me an email at ryan at believeltd.com anytime. Thanks.